Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the latest ACAM. It does use some roughing balm. This is the cheap block. I've been using this recently just to make sure it works. It works fine. I've been told that maybe a white wax crayon could work. So guys, if you haven't got any roughing balm stick, try that. I've also been told, you know, hot glue in the hot glue guns. Try the glue sticks before it's gone through the gun. Apparently that might work as well, but I do not know. Just try it. So you're going to need a nine of hearts. Now this nine of hearts is coated with roughing bar over the face. I have then got a double backed playing card. The Waddingtons don't come with a double backer, so I've just stuck two cards together. There is no roughing balm on this side, which is like this. But there is roughing balm on the back of this card, so at some point this will hide in the deck. I've also got another Nine of Hearts, a duplicate card, and I've got my trusty Jack of Clubs. Crimped from the face down, just drag your fingers across, puts a nice crimp in it. That's going to go on the bottom of the deck, followed by your other Nine of Hearts. You're then going to have your Nine of Hearts face up with the roughing balm on it. Your double backer with no roughing balm on this side, on top of that with roughing balm on the top. Why you've got roughing balm on this card is so it will hide in the deck in a minute, and so you can spread and show all your cards are face up, face down, sorry. Right, so you're gonna to go to your spectator. I could just fan through the cards and get you to pick a card, but I just want you to cut off a portion of cards. So the spectator can reach in and cut off a portion of cards, it doesn't matter how many. Turn these face up and then you're going to spread through and say we'll come to the first face down card. This is where you cut, you're going to put these cards aside and you're going to show them this card. Because you've got roughing balm on this card it won't push off very well, so you do need to show it like this. Remember the nine of hearts for me and while you're saying that, without even thinking about it, you're just going to cut these cards which is putting your nine and the crimp somewhere in the middle. You're then gonna get them to count how many cards they've got here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards. Remember the number 16. Now why I've got roughing balm on the face of this card is when this goes into this packet, it will hide. So we're just going to double check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Place this card somewhere in the middle and then spectator can shuffle these. I think it's safe for them to shuffle. Give it a real good shuffle so that nobody knows where that 9 is. And they're remembering the number 16. And in fact to lose these cards more we're going to put them in the middle of this packet. So you've got your crimp card here. So you're just going to cut at your crimp which is here. Place this packet inside, drop these back on top and then give it one more cut. You will have cut your crimp to the bottom and that other nine should be, you're going to count 16 cards and the nine that was on the bottom will be the next card. Now somebody said in the comments, oh it looks like the spectator can do all of it gaffer. Unfortunately they cannot do it all because when you're dealing through these 16 cards, you will come across a double card where that nine is stuck. I'm going to show you where the nine is. So you're going to count 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the double 15, 16. Now wouldn't it be amazing after all that? Your card was the next one. Now why I've got that roughing balm on the face of this double backer now is so I can turn these cards over and spread. If I did not have any roughing balm on the back of this double backer which is hiding under this three, let's say it was this way because there was no roughing balm on that side, it would show. So that's why that one side of the double backer has got roughing balm so you can spread these cards to show all regular cards and you can even spread these because that nine, the original nine, will be stuck behind a card somewhere. Where is it? It's stuck behind this one, look. So we'll just run through that again for you guys. We have a double back playing card with roughing balm on the top. 
a nine of hearts with rough and balm on the face. That's going to go on top of that. You're going to take your crimp card and your other nine. This is a clean nine. Spectator can cut off a portion of cards, turn them face up, spread through. Right, this is the card you cut to. Remember this card, the nine of hearts. If you can count these cards for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But what you should do, remember, is when they're counting these cards, just cut the deck. So they're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, remember that number. You as a performer don't need to know this number. Take this card and bury it. So they're remembering the number, which I've already forgotten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In fact, we're going to lose those cards in the middle of this packet. And in fact, we're going to give everything a cut, cut at the crimp. So what was the number 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That was the double card. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wouldn't be mad if this was your 9 of hearts. And as you can see, the rest of the deck is all Grey Magic TV legit. So that's how I did it, guys. A double backer, two duplicate cards and some roughing balm. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.